हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट हाइपो अल्ब्यूमिनेमिया सिंपल हाइपो मीन्स लो अल्ब्यूमिन लेवल इन द ब्लड सो ऑलरेडी वी आर नोइंग दैट नॉर्मल लेवल ऑफ अल्ब्यूमिन इन द प्लाज्मा दैट इज 3.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर इफ अल्ब्यूमिन लेवल इज लेस दैन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर दैट इज कॉल्ड हाइपो अल्ब्यूमिनेमिया सो इन विच कंडीशन दिस हाइपो अल्ब्यूमिनेमिया इज अकरिंग दैट वी विल लुक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट इज माल न्यूट्रिशन सो इफ सफिशियंट एमिनो एसिड इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड इन द डाइट दैन अवर लीवर इज नॉट एबल टू प्रोड्यूस दैट अल्ब्यूमिन विच इज नीडेड इन साइड अवर बॉडी सो माल न्यूट्रिशन वे प्रोटीन इज नॉट अवेलेबल मीन्स इन डायरेक्टली अमिनो एसिड इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो दैट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ generalized edema particularly generalized edema seen in small child and that is also called as kwashior kor one more condition that is nephrotic syndrome where kidney damage particularly glomerules are damage and due to damage in the glomerules whenever the blood is passing through the glomerules this albumin will be filtered and appear in the urine so that is one more condition nephrotic syndrome and in this nephrotic syndrome typically facial edema means over the face that edema is seen and that is suggestive of the hypoalbuminemia one more condition that is albuminuria so this name that you have to remember albumin present in the urine so it is called albumin urea so it is a one condition it can be occur in a different condition but different disease but you have to remember typically seen in a nephrotic damage of the diabetes when diabetes mellitus for a longer duration and damage over the kidney that is reflected in the form of albumin urea and that is also called a microalbuminuria or pausy albuminuria means small quantity of albumin is present in the urine and that can be detected so if albumin is in between 30 to 300 mg per deciliter then it is called a microalbuminuria or pausy albuminuria and that is also a part of the albuminuria it is always pathological you have to keep in mind and we can detect this albumin in urine with the help of heat acetic acid test that already we have discussed one more condition or condition for the risk which is responsible for the hypoalbuminemia that is cirrhosis of liver where simple damage of the liver cell or hepatocyte so albumin is typically synthesized in the liver liver cells are damaged so this liver cell are not able to synthesize albumin so all over production of albumin is decreased and that is leading to the hypoalbuminemia further one one more condition that is protein losing entropathy where albumin are lost from the gastrointestinal tract so it is also leading to the hypoalbuminemia one rare condition that is an albuminemia means there is a all over no production of albumin and that is due to the mutation in gene which is responsible for the synthesis of albumin so that is present over the chromosome number 4 that also we will look but simple how you can remember if raw material means amino acid is not present then it can lead to the hypoalbuminemia if transport mechanism means it is passing from the blood but it is leakage from the transport system of the albumin that can lead to the hypoalbuminemia albumin urea that is same as a part of this nephrotic syndrome cirrhosis means production site of albumin is not working properly means liver damage that can lead to the hypoalbuminemia losing of particularly albumin from the gastrointestinal tract and rare condition that an albuminemia that all can lead to the hypoalbuminemia so that's all about the various condition which can lead to the hypoalbuminemia